Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. In today's video, I want to show you 12 interior design ideas that you need in your home this year. I think that interior design trends change drastically from year to year and 2021 is no exception. Which is why I feel like I should update you guys on what I think will be the top home decor trends for 2021. That being said, let's jump into the video. One interior design trend that I think will blow up in 2021 is what I like to call the organic natural look. We've seen a lot of these kind of decorations and furniture, you know, lots of rattan, lots of green, and of course, lots of plants. And I think that it's really likely to grow even more this year. The way I would describe it is a pure and understated style that uses ethical products to create a wholesome aesthetic. You'll continue to see lots of natural raw materials being used like rattan, jute, cotton and solid wood. Also more textural elements such as 3D walls, tiling or flooring, and of course soft furnishings like cushion covers and curtains. This sage green colour really complements the rest of the interior and will enhance the organic aspect of the scheme. And of course with everyone being home again this year, we all have a lot more time to tend to our green babies. Take it from me, I absolutely love plants, but I'm not that brilliant at maintaining them. And Lazo is actually the one on plant duty here. But I think we can all agree that having plants instantly creates that sense of zen, and they're also really beneficial for our health too. Which is why I think in 2021, we'll see even more healthy plants grow, and it fits perfectly into this interior design trend. Rather than focus on over the top luxury pieces, this style tends to use ethically sourced furniture only that is of course sustainable too. Luckily as time goes on, everyone's understanding how important it is to live sustainably and interior design is no different. What do you guys think of the organic natural style? The second home decor trend that I think will be huge this year is lots of patterns on our fabrics. And in particular, I mean minimal block shapes like this. These are fantastic for more minimal Scandinavian or Japandi interiors, as they are very simple. And the second pattern I think we'll see a lot more of in 2021 is this Toile de Joy China plate pattern. Alongside other very traditional prints, it's no secret that interior design, just like fashion, art, graphic design, are all influenced by cultural aspects. And of course, one thing that everyone's loved on TV has been Bridgerton. I know that it's only the beginning of the year, but I've seen lots of these Regency patterns pop up on cushions, curtains and bedding, most of which I think are a direct relation to the Bridgerton craze. And whilst it's not everyone's style, and certainly not mine per se, I really do think that we'll see a lot more traditional patterns this year. My third interior design trend to watch out for is very curvaceous and playful furniture specifically sofas and armchairs. Now, this is certainly not a new style as Danish designer Viggo Boson drew curvy furniture back in 1938, creating the Little Petra chair. But it's only recently that curved upholstered sofas are making a huge comeback. I think that the shape really allows for fluidity within the interior and you're then able to place furniture around them in a snug way. Although I wouldn't consider them the comfiest of chairs, I do think that they would really add a sense of softness to a space and work really well in spaces that have straight lines, so they break up that harshness. Next on my list is something that I'm sure you've all seen, which is pampas grass. This began to grow huge popularity last year, and I think on the whole, we can expect to see a lot more dried plants in general. Lots of these dried palms and bouquets instantly add colour and texture to your space. Like I was saying in my previous trend, there will be lots of luscious green plants, as if they've grown out of the jungle, and contrasting to that, these dried plants that look as if they've spent all day in the sun. A real harsh contrast. And as we transition into the holiday season at the end of the year, I think we can expect to see a lot more of these plants on table centerpieces and door wreaths. My fifth interior design idea to try out is more 70s inspired furniture. Hear me out for a sec. Now, I'm sure when I said 70s, you pictured these brown kind of living rooms, didn't you? But seriously, in retrospect, the 70s was such a great time for experimentation in our homes. It was a contradiction to the 60s that were all about stark white tones, bright pops of colour and rounded, whimsical furniture. We often refer to the 70s as a time that has no taste, but I disagree. I think that there were some fantastic style choices that came out of the 70s, such as bohemian decor, 
wooden panelling, colourful furniture, indoor plants, metallics and of course the use of earthy neutral tones. These rich warm tones are the new normal in 2021. You're either going to see grey and beige tones alongside one another, or these rusty reds and peach tones. Maybe I'm on my own for this one, but I really do think that the 70s style is coming back in a big way. Just maybe not quite like this. One of my interior design ideas I think everyone needs to switch from is using silver chrome fixtures to matte black ones or gold brass ones. This is gaining a lot of popularity and honestly I think that people will be modernising their bathrooms and kitchens by doing this simple switch. I think that the brass gold effect adds a sense of luxury and maybe even art deco glam to an interior. Whereas the black is definitely more dramatic and can be polarising for some people, but I think it complements the interiors that are on the plainer side or even for more minimal contemporary spaces. Which one is your favourite guys? I think mine's the gold. Now of course with the current world we're living in, we're working and spending a lot of, if not all, our time at home. Which is fine, but let's face it, we need to adapt our homes to become multi-use spaces. Space might be an issue, so I'm predicting more convertible desks, home offices and wellness spaces. Our mental and physical health is equally as important as doing work. So definitely make yourself a space, even if it's small, to meditate and work out in. Whatever makes you happy. I think moving forward, thinking about these multi-use rooms will be a must when it comes to buying a home. Now, I'm sure you've all seen this curvy vase. There's a lot of places you can buy them from, but this one's from Etsy and it's linked below. Aside from this lovely vase, I think you'll be seeing a lot more handmade ceramics. Lots of vases, mugs, plates, bowls, and even lighting. I think this ties in with the organic natural look I was talking about before, but really these beautiful ceramics can fit into any kind of style. I really appreciate pottery and I think that these pieces will be celebrated even more as we go throughout the year. Another home decor trend for 2021 is the eclectic style. Now I always say that interiors should be a reflection of your personality and I find that that only works if you tend to not stick to one specific style. Nowadays, and I think especially this year, people are putting their own mark on their interior. You'll tend to see a mixture of different styles merging together to create the final aesthetic. For example, I would say that my style is a concoction of Scandinavian, Bohemian, Moroccan, mid-century modern, and even Art Deco. So when thinking of furniture choices and materials, it's totally okay to veer away from a particular style and pick some new products up from another one. How would you describe your mix? Leave me a comment below. My 10th home decor trend for 2021 are these bubble chandeliers. I think that we all love a good statement light to add the wow factor to an interior and this is no exception. I've seen these gaining a lot of traction and I think that maybe that's because of what I said before about the curvy furniture growing in style. I love these lights because they're a bit of fun but of course they still have the dramatic effect but maybe not as strong as this one. You see what I mean? And I actually just thought about another home decor trend that I think you guys should know. Of course, we've seen the Japandi trend surge in 2020 and I think that we've actually cemented it as its own interior design style now. Which is why my next home decor picks are these matte black and light wood chairs. I think that these are the epitome of the Japandi trend and would work in any kind of home with that style. The combination of both dark and light instantly tells you that your home is in the Japandi style. Which is why I think you'll see a huge growth with these in the year ahead. If you're new then welcome, on this channel we talk about interior design, architecture, illustration, content creation and graphic design, so if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this. And if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that you really do help our channel. I hope that I gave you guys some new interior design ideas and 2021 home decor trends. Leave me a little house emoji below so that I know that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.